Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo.de VR. I got a package today, a small package, but look at this. This is the PlayStation VR camera adapter, so you can connect the PlayStation VR to the PlayStation 5. Wow, that's crazy. And uh, I will show you how to connect that, how uh, can we um, set it up, how can we um, start a game and how does everything work. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Andy Defelser, VR Ambassador and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay, and let's do an unboxing of that. That's it. <laughs> so here we have the um, adapter and as you can see on this side there is uh, the slot for the PlayStation camera and on this side there is USB connector. Then uh, let's check out the PlayStation 5. This is the PlayStation 5 here and at the back we have two USB slots. So let's take the one on the bottom here. This, this, this is it. <laughs> and now just uh, have your uh, camera here, the PlayStation camera. And then Where's that? This, this is a little bit strange because it's so deep. So that's it. It's connected now. And of course uh, you have to position the camera right. Um, that means uh, normally it should be minimum two meters away from you and it should point to your chest, like uh, to, your, to your breast, uh, like this here. It should look here. Uh, from, a, from a distance of minimum uh, two meters, so it can see your uh, move controller, your aim controller or your DualShock 4 controller. It must be tracked with the camera. So yeah, let's check out <coughs> what we can do in the menu and how we can start a game. Okay guys, and here we are in the menu. I already showed that to you in one of my um, menu guide videos. And let's go to the settings here. Sorry, everything is in German, but I cannot, uh, I don't want to change that now. So uh, just go on accessories here and then go to camera here and here uh, set up PlayStation camera. And uh, when you click there, it says, um, it will take three pictures of you and then it will be calibrated. So let's do it. I have to stand up now. You will not hear the microphones so good, but we'll see that. Attention. So I will stand up now and then look at this. This first one, second one, third. Ha! And that's it. That's it. That's the calibration. <laughs> now we can uh, just uh, go here and do some settings for the PlayStation VR like brightness, uh, size and whatever, tracking, IPD and stuff. Whatever you, you want, you can do that. Um, however, let's just start a PlayStation VR game and uh, check out how that works. I installed uh, Blood and Truth and I think uh, we should check it out now. Okay guys, one thing I wanted to show you, um, if you want to connect the move controllers or the aim controller, it doesn't work when you just um, um, switch them on and then they go to Bluetooth settings. This won't work. So what you're gonna do is uh, go to settings, then go to accessories, then go to Bluetooth accessories and then I, I connected it already, but it won't show a motion controller here. So what you're gonna do is connect the move controller or the aim controller with USB cable to your PlayStation 5 and then it will uh, allow you to connect the motion controller and then there is a short calibration so you have to hold it into the camera then then it will do uh, some flashlights and then it's connected otherwise it won't work so do it like this and now let's uh, play a game with the, with the move controllers on the PlayStation 5. Okay guys, welcome to Blood and Truth. Um, I choose this game because we can, uh, sorry, oh, oh shit. <laughs> we can uh, use the aim controller here. And as you can see, it's tracked uh, just normally. It works really good. And I can tell you the loading times are so much better than with the PlayStation 4. It's so great. And um, 
yeah, um, you can do everything you want, uh, like uh, just with the PlayStation 4. Everything works, tracking fine, no, no uh, other stuff you need to do. And uh, it's just really cool. So yeah, then you can just play the game like uh, like you would do that with the PlayStation 4. And it's really fun, of course. Oh yes, oh yes. Some other guys here, no. <laughs> so I will not show you a lot of gameplay. I just wanted to show you how to start the game, how everything works and you see it's just no problem. Just get the adapter and that works. So uh, there will be some games that will be updated for the PlayStation 5 and uh, I will do a video soon about that. But uh, let's go uh, back to the studio and talk about it. Okay guys, this was really, really cool. I have a lot of fun playing with the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation VR, uh, especially because the loading times are so much faster, but there will be games like Blood and Truth that will get a PlayStation 5 update so that the resolution is higher, the textures are better and stuff. As soon as everything is clear, I will do a comparison video for you between the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 version of for example, Blood and Truth or other games that will get an update and then we will see how big is the difference. However, guys, um, you perhaps wonder how the hell can I get a PlayStation camera adapter? So just go on this page. You can find the, description, uh, the link in the description below and then you need the serial number of the processor unit. This is uh, a proof for Sony that you have the PlayStation VR and uh, you are able to get one for free. Just enter the ser serial number and then your shipping address and then they will send it for free so you can use the PlayStation VR on the PlayStation 5. A lot of cool stuff guys. If you want to support me, do that via Patreon. Um, you can um, do that for one buck per month and you will get behind the scenes videos. That would be awesome. Otherwise, if you want to buy the PlayStation 5, do it via my link and support me for free. You can find everything in the description and in the first pinned comment. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!